Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So we are heading into fall um, and I have been working on a shawl. I have been working on a large mandala that will kind of become into a blanket. Um, and then I started thinking again about making some donations. So I have started making um, caps for babies in the NICU and in the hospital. And I've started making caps for cancer patients at the hospital. And I wanted to share those with you today. So um, I have a couple of caps with me and I will show those to you. So uh, first I'll show you the baby caps. So these are some of the ones I just finished. This is like a soft blush color and this is a polyester yarn. Sorry for the lighting. I'm recording this in the evening. Um, so I've made one, two, three, four. These are all almost pretty much the same size. I've used um, an eye hook for most of them. For I think one of them I used an H hook just to see the difference in sizing. And those are four that I'm done. And then this is one that I'm still working on. Um, this pattern, I have it saved in my Ravelry. And I cannot remember who the designer was, but in case I can figure that out, I will put that in the description box below. And this is just a very easy hat pattern that uses half double crochets. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this yarn is from Hobby Lobby. It's Yarn B Forever Plush in the color blush. It's 169 yards. It's 100% polyester and it recommends a 6.5 millimeter hook, um, which I did not use. I used a H hook and an I hook. Um, what else about this yarn? Yeah. So I'm not sure that the Forever Plush line has been discontinued, but this color has been, and this is why it was on clearance this year in April of 2023. So it's a very nice soft plush blush color. And um, I thought it would make really sweet baby caps. So I have four and I'm working on the fifth. So from, I bought two balls. So from one ball, I got four caps. And the fifth one is a combination of the first skein and the second skein. So I'm guessing I can get about maybe at least three more. So I'll have eight caps. Um, and that will be very nice. So those are the baby caps. Um, I've also taken out um, just kind of odds and ends that I have. Uh, I guess you could call them scrap yarn or just yarn left over from other projects. And um, I've taken out some of that and I have quite a bit more. And I'm going to be making more of these caps. And as I make them, I'm going to be um, sharing those with you. And of course, when I am finally ready with everything to make my donation, then I'm going to be sharing that with you as well. So stay tuned for that. Look out for that in my next couple videos. Um, usually once I start making these things for donation, it just goes by very quickly. It's like a one week event where I just buckle down and um, start pumping these out and just use up all that stash yarn that's there. Um, I am actually making a cap right now as I'm talking to you. I'm on the second last row. So that was one cap that I showed you, which was for babies. And this is now another pattern that I'm going to show you. Um, I actually made two of these caps today, which was pretty amazing considering that I was in mom mode today. Um, I actually had wisdom teeth surgery last week and um, my mouth is still not fully recovered so I had a lot of pain today so I didn't um, really get up off the couch I was uh, just sitting and crocheting and my step counter was counting my crochet stitches and I did about 13,000 stitches today so 
that just tells you I wasn't very active today, but I, um, I decided to use my time and to crochet instead and make something for somebody. So I'm just on the last round here. Sorry, bear with me. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this um, pattern that I'm making. Uh, this pattern is a different hat than the baby one. And this pattern is called the Divine Hat. D-I-V-I-N-E, the Divine Hat. It is by a designer named Sarah Arnold. And you can find it on Ravelry. That's where I found it. Um, it was funny because just before hitting record, I opened up the pattern and I was... I went to the second or third page. I didn't even know there were four pages. And I saw that the first part was made for adult size. And then in the second part, there was a preemie size and an infant size. I didn't even know that. So I am actually excited to try out um, this pattern with the preemie size or the infant size and just to see... Um, what happens and how it looks because I've never done that before. I didn't even know those two sizes were there. Just goes to show, even if you've looked at a pattern a million times, you might still find something new in it. And that's exactly what happened to me today. So anyways, this pattern, um, this designer has about eight or 10 other patterns in her Ravelry store. And this particular hat has over um, 8,000 projects. So, almost 9,000 um, and I do have this on my own project page on Ravelry if you search for Rika Life on Ravelry.com you'll see my projects and you'll be able to see the other hats that I've made with this same pattern and I've made quite a few now I have to say I've made over 20 30 of them maybe even more so I'm going to show you in a second what it looks like. I was able to finish two of them today and I'm really glad that I could. Um, and both of the yarns that I'm using are yarns that are new to me. So let me just put this down. I'm almost done, but I will put it down and I will show you um, what it is that I made. This is what my divine hat looks like. Look at that. It's pretty. So uh, the colors are coming up pretty good on the camera. And this is a uh, work from the middle. It's worked in the round. So it's worked in the round from the top down. And it looks kind of complicated, but it's not complicated at all. It's a very well written pattern. It uses two different hook sizes, but for this one, I just used one hook size. So you're supposed to use one hook size for the body and then for the border you go down a hook size or half a hook size and then it creates this ribbing effect at the end. So I actually have a picture of me wearing this but I'll put it on again. And just so you know, I feel like my head is really big but it's actually fitting me okay and that's what the top looks like. So it looks pretty nice. And... It looks huge to me like when I hold it I'm like oh my god that looks gigantic but it actually fits me. This yarn is new to me I've never used it before this is Lion Brand Ferris Wheel yarn and this is the color Cotton Candy so I bought three balls of this three cakes of this um, it was on sale at Joann's I bought it online and um, I have used I guess a little bit more than half a cake I'm not sure but I got one full hat out of like half a cake so I have three cakes in total so I'm guessing I could at least make four hats I'm hoping um, and I think this is really pretty I didn't even know the yarn was gonna work up like this but it looks amazing and the other one that I was making is right here and this is also a color changing yarn. So I'm almost done. I'm just on the last row of the ribbing. And this is actually using Karen Cotton Cakes. And this is the color Peach Blossom. So it's color changing again. And this is a Karen Cotton Cake. So this is actually 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. So it's a cotton acrylic blend. 
uh, a medium for weight recommends an H hook which I did use an H hook um, although for the pattern on here they used an I hook but I kind of I wanted it to be a little dense so I used an H hook sorry I didn't tell you the Ferris wheel was uh, 270 yards a three ounce ball 100% acrylic so this ball is actually very small so most of my things that are like cakes look like this big and this is tiny so this is really really small this like fits in my palm of my hand I wasn't expecting the ferris wheel to be this small but it is anyhow um I'm enjoying both of the yarns this yarn also is like it's not as stretchy there is stretch but it's a little bit feels a little bit denser um but they're both really good um medium four weight this is the acrylic blend and i think i would definitely use this again even though i only have one cake right now so i am going to keep you updated with pictures of these hats that i'm making and um hopefully i'll have more to show you soon thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and definitely leave me a comment i love hearing from you I hope you have a wonderful crochet full day and I'll see you again soon.